Watch the glitches and welcome to another Meth Labs experiment where we ask is a single sided deposit uh, more efficient than a swap and a double sided deposit. So what we're talking about here is the XRPL AMMs obviously and the question is ambiguous. So firstly I did ask this on X, I did ask this question on X and um, I left the question as it is in the first instance. And thanks to everyone that responded, uh, Panos here, Larry, Kashta, Red Eye, all chipped in with what I hope you'll see are all actually correct answers. Um, because the thing that I left out of this question, which is really important, is the intent of the market participant in carrying out these two operations. That's what decides if it's efficient or not. So to make it a little bit more concise and to actually frame the question correctly, let's hop over to my IDE here where I'm using cursor.ai on an indexed Ripple D source code base. And I'm going to ask the AI the same question, but with more detail here being concise about my intention as the market participant. So to, to step back, imagine you have only XRP, you've got 10 XRP and you want to participate in one of these meme coins and uh, you're not doing it through one of the basic platforms, you're going to go to one of the XRPL interfaces instead and directly engage with the AMM. If you've only got XRP to start with and you want to uh, obtain the other token, your choices are to swap uh, your XRP for the token directly against the AMM. If you wanted, and that will be an instant kind of transaction, you'll immediately get the token. Um, or you could use the order book. So if you're, you, you could use a market limit order to immediately purchase the uh, meme coin that you're after using the DEX. But just, be, just to be clear, this isn't about obtaining the meme coin tokens. So what is the actual precise context? Let me read out the question that I use as a prompt for Claude. AI here. If you only had XRP and wanted to provide liquidity to a pool, would it be better to buy the other token from the order book, assuming it was available, with half of your XRP and then provide liquidity in a double sided deposit? Or would it be better to just do a single sided deposit of your XRP if you wanted to get more LP tokens? So here I've been precise with the intent. The intent is for a market participant to, uh, to provide liquidity to an AMM pool. In this case, let's call it the uh, XRP uh, MEF pool. So why would I want to provide liquidity to this pool in the first instance? So what, what is the incentive for the market participant to do this? Well, firstly, as a liquidity pool provider, the AMM charges a fee for anyone accessing that liquidity that you provide. For MEFXRP, it currently stands at 0.94%, which in the world of market making is a high fee. Um, but because of the, the comparatively really low transaction volumes and uh, total amount of liquidity on the XRPL, my personal opinion is that you should charge the highest fee possible. Um, in TradFi, like 0.94% commercially wouldn't run. Um, that's a ridiculous number of basis points, essentially. Uh, typically, you're looking at, I, I don't know, uh, 25 basis points, 15 basis points, 10 basis points for providing liquidity, um, depending on the size of the, uh, uh, or, or the, the volume of liquidity that you're providing and, and the venue in which you're trading it in. But on the XRPL, Given transaction volumes are low, uh, it, it's my two pence, and I know a lot of people disagree, is to go with the highest fee that you can. But there's also another incentive for a market participant that wishes to provide liquidity, and that comes from Tipper. So well done, Tipper, for providing an amazing service on the XRPL for, for giving issuers the ability to take some of the asset that they've issued provide it to Tipper that will automatically uh, distribute the rewards to anyone providing liquidity to their pool. And we have this set up on MEF. Um, 
Actually, it was like one of the earliest adopters of, of Tipper. Uh, and we use it in anger as well as a reward. So let's go back. I've stated my intent. My intent is to provide liquidity to, uh, to a, a pool on, on the XRPL because of the fee and because of the rewards that I'm going to get. Now, if I only have 10 XRP, what is the most efficient way of obtaining a share of that pool? Is it just to swap my 10 XRP directly? So I'm going to use Magnetic to show you this. Uh, in this particular instance, the last video we looked at Anados Finance, which is excellent as well, and I highly recommend having a look at that. But um, so I can deposit single sided 10 XRP uh, to provide liquidity directly to the MEF XRP pool. And I'm going to receive here approximately 724 liquidity pool tokens. Is that the most efficient way of obtaining liquidity pool tokens? So before, because the, the alternative is what we stated in the question, is to take half of my XRP, five, buy MEF, or um, swap MEF in this instance, now against the AMM, and then take the MEF that I get, which is right now, given the exchange rate of one MEF is 34 XRP, it'll be this value here, 0.1463. So I can send five or swap five XRP against the AMM for MEF. This gets interesting, right? Because you should always look at this. It's the summary of the trade. Because in my previous video, I showed you that if you swap against an AMM, two things happen. One of them is that pathfinding will kick in and pathfinding will try to find the best price. It's heuristic, default heuristic, is to find the best exchange rate for you. And it does that by looking at the order book to see how much of the uh, value that you're sending could be, or of your order, could be filled from the order book and how much comes from the AMM pool. Um, in this instance, it's saying there is not enough, uh, the, the sell orders on the order book are not going to fulfill any of your order. And let's have a look at the order book for MEFXRP. Um, I just placed an order here, a sell order for 34.5, and Pathfinding has said, essentially it thinks that it's uh, more efficient to use the liquidity from the AMM. But let's see, let's just demonstrate this. If I put in, because the exchange rate provided by the AMM is 34 XRP here. And the last, uh, as you can see, the order, the sell order is for 34.5. Okay, now it's not actually 34, it's gonna be rounded up. So what, would, what happens if I place an order for slightly lower than that? Will Pathfinding kind of see that order and uh, decide to source some XRP from it? Well, let's go. Let's tr let's give this a go. I'm gonna I'm gonna place an order here for 0.1 MEF, uh, which is valued at 3.4 XRP. And remember, I'm swapping five XRP for MEF at the moment. Let's see if I place this order on the order book if pathfinding will attempt will discover it and potentially fill some of my order using the order book so i'll place this order i'm using the xamarin wallet as you can see great wallet oh, i don't have enough xrp is that why did that fail the wonders of, I need to add, so no, I've got meth. Let me try that again, just had a minor error there. The wonders of doing a live experiment or the pitfalls of doing them, the risks, but this is why we do it. Let's try that again. Why did it fail? Insufficient reserve for the offer. Uh, bear with me one moment. Let me transfer some funds. Okay, I'll send five 
XRP to this wallet. But it's telling me I've got 14, so I don't know why there are insufficient reserves. <clears throat> Let's see if it was XRP that was the problem or lack of XRP. To place an order on the DEX will cost two XRP, which is returned to you once the order is filled. Um, and it may be I didn't have enough XRP. But it's saying I've got 14 here. Let's just make sure. Five, I'll send five XRP to that wallet. Okay, it says it's been successfully transferred. Let me just check I'm actually uh, <laughs> logged in with the wrong wallet. Okie doke, that would explain it. So always worth making sure that you're connected with the right wallet before you start recording. But I'm not a content creator and uh, I don't edit these videos. It's one take and one take only. So suffer along with me for a moment while I get this done. Okay, so now let's just try it again. We'll place this order. Okay, the order has been placed. Hopefully it hasn't been filled. There it is, 34. Let's see if that makes any difference to this transaction. From the order book, it's still zero, okay? Let's bring it lower, 33.5. Place another sell order limit. Once the spread between the exchange rate offered by the order book and the exchange rate offered by the AMM become small enough, some of my order will be filled by the order book. Okay, has that actually caused? Yes, it may have sold a little bit of meth in the process. 33.5, it did, okay. This is, so, I placed that order, a small amount of it was immediately filled by the AMM um, because it was offering an exchange rate which is satisfied the, uh, the, the order itself. Okay, order book is still not being used. Oh, uh, okay, it is now. Okay, just updated. So now, uh, because the order book is offering a better rate than the uh, AMM, all of my order will actually be filled by, uh, all of my swap order from the AMM will actually be uh, filled by the order book courtesy of pathfinding. So now I can, I'm buying five MEF from the order book and then I can use that with the five XRP that I have to do a double-sided deposit instead. So if we go back to the question of which one is more efficient, a single-sided swap um, sorry, a single-sided deposit of 10 XRP into the into the AMM or taking 5 XRP and um, uh, swapping that against the AMM. Uh, it would seem that the answer is it depends on the order book. So I hope that's clear, but let's step back. I know this stuff is pretty, pretty complicated. Let's go back to what Claude had to say when he was answering this question. So just one more time, I'll read this out. If you only had XRP and wanted to provide liquidity to a pool, would it be better to buy the other token from the order book, assuming it was available with half of your XRP and then provide liquidity in a double-sided deposit? 
or would it be better to just do a single-sided deposit of your XRP if you wanted to get more LP tokens? Claude says, based on the code, particularly the test case AMM test CPP and the implementation details, I can definitively answer your question. So here's the code for AMM test. It's a test uh, that the developers have written um, in C++ for Ripple D that actually tests the behavior of the AMM. And these test cases are wonderful. Like, I think it's worth having a look at these, certainly if you have any kind of development experience. C++ isn't the most forgiving language in the world, but actually these tests are relatively reasonable. Like. Uh, expect AMM Alice, like the number of tokens, like if, if a deposit is made, blah, blah, blah. You can read these, um, but if you can't, you can always use AI to help you read them. In this case, it's looking at test AMM, and Claude says, this test case demonstrates that when doing a single-sided deposit with a trading fee of 1%, Carol gets fewer LP tokens, approximately uh, 994.98, compared to what we, she would get with a proportional deposit, a double-sided deposit of both assets, 1,000 LP tokens. So if you do a double-sided deposit, there's no fee incurred. Single-sided deposits incur that AMM fee that we were talking about, which uh, in this case with a test, they've set it to the maximum 1%. The reason for this ex is explained in the code comments and implementation. Single-sided deposits incur trading fees because they effectively perform two operations. First, half of your deposited asset is swapped for the other asset, and this is done entirely in the pool. It doesn't use pathfinding when you do a single-sided deposit. Very important to understand that. Then both assets are deposited proportionally. Double-sided proportional deposits don't incur trading fees, as shown in this comment here. If the trader deposits proportional values of both, um, can I get this? Of proportional values of both assets, without changing their relative price, then no trading fee is charged on the on the transaction. The trader can specify different combination of of the fields in the deposit. Okay, I just spotted another <laughs> code change that I can submit because I have been providing, <laughs> I have been raising. I've got a little bit of code in the XRPL. I basically correct grammar mistakes that I find in their comments. So it sounds like they've made one here. The trader can specify different combinations of the fields in the deposit. They've left an S out. So expect a, a pull request to fix this. Um, Therefore, if your goal is to maximize LP tokens received, you should first swap half of your XRP for the other token through the order book, then perform a proportional deposit of both assets. This will result in more LP tokens than doing a single-sided deposit because you only pay the order book spread once during the initial swap. You avoid the AMM trading fee entirely on the deposit. The AMM trading fee up to 1% is typically higher than the order book spreads in the liquidity markets. That's a massive assumption. Um, the only scenario where single-sided deposits might be preferable is if the order book spread is significantly higher than the AMM trading fee. Correct, totally agree with that. So the order book spread is essentially, it's not this value here, it's basically, is this, uh, last sell limit order price, 33.5, let's call it, is that better than the price that the AMM is going to give you, okay? If it is, then your order is going to be fulfilled. Pathfinding will ensure your order is fulfilled at the best price, so you're not going to touch the AMM. By not touching the AMM, you're not going to change the ratio of the assets in the AMM. You're not going to move the exchange rate against you during this swap. Sorry, let's go back to... Time to execution is more important than maximizing LP uh, tokens received. So this goes back to our intent. If our intent is to immediately obtain a share in the pool, then... Um, 
going to the order book to sell your some XRP may take you longer uh, to to or buy yeah sell your XRP for May may take you longer because it's a limit order so it, it may not be fulfilled but if your intent you can afford to wait then it's fine you go ahead and source your liquidity from the uh, order book but purely from the perspective of maximizing LP tokens received the code clearly shows that proportional deposits are more efficient it does clearly show that um, so what does this mean let's step back and try and make this a little bit more human for, for everyone so in this particular scenario I want to provide liquidity to a meme coin liquidity pool in this case meth and XRP the reason why I want to do that is because I want to benefit from the fees that are charged to the other market participants that use this liquidity pool and I also get rewards from tipper um, so those are my incentives now if I go in with 10 XRP I need and I just do a single sided deposit pathfinding won't kick in the AMM will take five of my XRP swap it internally for meth using its own exchange rate this exchange rate that you see here um, and then once it's got some equal amount of meth to my XRP in terms of XRP value it will deposit that into the pool and give me some liquidity pool tokens alternatively what you could choose to do is look at the order book or then you need to look at the order book you can just go to a swap put half of your XRP in there and on at least on the magnetic interface if you look at the summary and you see that your order is being fulfilled from in part or in whole from the order book this will give you more meth for your XRP than if you would get for um, if you were to doing a single sided deposit therefore you would end up with more LP tokens now I could just run through this um, but there's a problem with doing this live uh, because you, you're essentially moving the you're moving the proportion of the assets in the pool so it's actually quite difficult to demonstrate this uh, at least for small values in production or on the live mainnet platform um, what, are, what are other factors that you need to consider because this, this doesn't hold true in all cases right so if there are no orders on the book or if this spread is really high between buy and sell so the exchange rate on the order book is completely out of whack with the with the exchange rate offered by the AMM pool then you're you don't have a choice you're just going to have to swap the larger the amount of XRP that you use to swap for the other asset in the pool the more you're going to move the price and that's slippage okay um, the amount of slippage that you'll get is really dependent on two things it's what is the total value locked in the pool because if it's a shallow pool then you're going to move the price a lot more than if the the pool was um, deep in terms of its liquidity so if I wanted to go in with 1000 XRP um, single sided deposit like this would be a, a bad move I think for a number of reasons right well the main reason being that like the total liquidity in this pool is currently stands at 14,000 if I add 1,500 of my XRP is going to use to take um, meth out of the uh, allocate the meth that's in the pool to me and then the other 500 XRP will be paired alongside with it so if my intent is simply to increase the amount of LP tokens that I get this kind of single sided swap is not a good idea however to answer Larry's point because we have been saying this for quite a long time like we we kind of guide anyone who's participating in the MEF um, AMM pool one of the things we say is like single sided uh, deposits are preferable the reason for that is most people don't really know how to use the DEX anyway it is fast to do a single sided deposit 
But actually, the other thing that you're doing is that you're going to raise the price of meth considerably. And that's beneficial. If I was to do this right now, 1000 XRP, the price, you will see a big change in the price of the or the exchange rate offered by the um, AMM pool because I would have a big impact on the, a big impact on the distribution of the assets. I would be essentially adding 500 XRP here um, and taking away 500 or keeping keeping the same amount of meth in this instance because I'm not adding anything. So the same amount of meth would, would remain in the pool, but I'd be adding 500 XRP. Actually, I wonder if we can demonstrate this. Um, maybe I'll do it in another video just to keep this one quite short. And it probably needs to use the command line because this interface isn't going to go. Uh, it's going to give me the right level of precision. Um, anyway, like I hope that's been helpful. I hope we've answered some of that question. There are a whole other bunch of things that can affect how the price is impacted by swaps against the AMM versus or deposits against the AMM versus swapping against the AMM and using pathfinding. Not least is the pathfinding algorithm itself. So it is possible if you're running your own server to change the heuristic of pathfinding. As we say, on most public servers, the default heuristic is to find the best price. But that doesn't necessarily hold true on all servers. I, th I believe, and I can conf I'll confirm this in my next video, that you can configure it, uh, configure pathfinding on your own private server, which will give you a lot more nuance in the way that you execute the trade, um, for either for yourself or for whoever, anyone else that's using that server. So just a couple of notes, okay? Uh, no one sponsors these, um, these videos. I don't have any sponsors. Uh, what I would suggest is if you like this content, what we're trying to do is get people to engage directly with the XRPL uh, ledger because I firmly believe we're moving into a tokenized economy and the more you understand how the tools on the ledger work and how the ledger works itself, I think the, the better armed you are to kind of make more informed decisions around how you interact with these assets. So if you want to support this channel, uh, this video, this content, I don't accept any donations. What I suggest you do is actually just get hold of some XRP and participate in the MEF XRP pool. Um, that will incentivize me to make more videos going into more detail. I'll be happy to answer your questions on this. And the benefit for everyone, including yourself, is firstly because I'm not charging any fee for a course or anything like that. Your XRP goes to... Um, goes into the pool or into the wallet, whatever, um, but essentially it's working for you. Um, you're, you'll be learning how to use the AMMs, you'll be learning how to place transactions on the ledger, you'll be learning how to use these interfaces, so you're helping yourself. Um, but at the same time, because with the way we've set up this pool, if you decide to become a liquidity provider and earn those tipper rewards and, and those fees, you can you will also be helping other people in the pool as well because essentially you're increasing the total value logs which means other participants can tap into that value and earn fees and if you do decide to do a single-sided deposit you're going to raise the price of um, meth against xrp and that that benefits everyone in the pool interesting as you can see here one of our favorite bots created by the creator of rapido has just spent 13 XRP to buy some meth. I wonder why. And if you wonder why, maybe you can, uh, 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 maybe I can make a video to try and explain that one in more detail. Follow me on Spaces. There's also a, a, a on X. So let me show you what we have. There's a list that I've created that you can follow. I'm a terrible content creator, so I'm not going to put any of this in the show notes. Um, we live on X, essentially. So there's a Meth Labs cooking on the XRPL list. Um, I'll be posting kind of spaces that we host and other Meth-related content on there. So feel free to follow that. Like, share, retweet on as many platforms as you like. Um, send me your questions. I'm more than happy to try and answer these questions, either in spaces or in videos. Um, so I hope that's been helpful to you guys. 
I'm just going to do this anyway because I don't have all the answers. I don't pretend to be an expert. I'm just a practitioner. And um, just a little bit of alpha. I'm looking for my own business. I'm looking for a digital asset that I didn't issue myself to use for my own business. And my business is essentially X algorithmic. Um, its mission is to eliminate friction in the financial sector. And we, we're going to be using digital assets and programmable banking to do that. So one of the things I love about MEF, and this is why I decided to research it in detail, is the way that it was issued, uh, the way that it was distributed, incentivized, the redemption mechanism and guidance that was provided to the community around it, and finally the stewardship of the asset. There are only 1,500 uh, MEF tokens in existence today, that's tiny. Uh, some would argue that it's just not enough to do anything useful. I beg to differ. Each MEF can be divided by 1 million crystals. So there's, there's quite a lot of uh, um, MEF floating around and more than enough to do something useful with it. So the developer has, has gone. He's no longer part of this project. The wallets have been burned. There's only 1,500 of this token in existence. And the community can, community can really take it over and use it for whatever they want to use it for. So I'm using it for research and I'm working out loud for free. If you want to help this, the best way you can do it and to help yourself is to just participate, buy a bit of meth, don't mortgage the house, engage with the uh, AMMs. I um, mean, I'll show you, like, definitely recommend using uh, Andos. Let's, let's actually have, because Magnetic is quite a um, complicated interface and it may be quite daunting. So if you want to participate in the AMM, I, I would suggest using uh, Anados's uh, interface here. And as you can see, I've created a cult MEF uh, pool as well. So you could potentially participate in that if you hold cult, but otherwise the MEF XRP pool is where you need to go. And you can get started with this very uh, clean interface very easily by depositing uh, enable single-sided. You could do single-sided or you could do double-sided deposits of XRP and MEF. Um, I've set the fee here on here on this pool. Anados, Anados Finance version two is coming up. Um, by the way, I don't get any sponsorship from any of these guys. I shield them for free uh, if I like their product. And I certainly do. So I think that's been helpful. It's about 32 minutes. I'll leave it at that. Send over your questions, comments, feedbacks, like, retweet, share, follow me on spaces. I'll try and do a space tonight on X. See you later, glitches.